Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC training. I'm your host, Leander Umad, and in this video what we're going to see is the FTP that we have on the PLC. So let's go to the presentation. There we go. So, the FTP functionality works only for the Modicon M1 sub so 2 performance and optimize. Okay. Um, so, if we go here, FTP, if I'm wrong, is file, tra file transfer protocol, if I'm wrong, otherwise Google it. But um, this FTP allowed us to access to the memory of the controller and exchange files if you want, retrieve it or add files. Similar to what we have done in order to make the backup of the PLC in the other videos. Uh, so here basically we can use the USB cable or the Ethernet port in order to access using the FTP, the controller. In the software, this functionality is called Open File Browser. Okay, so um, Remember, if you're using the M162, you are able to use it. Um, I don't remember the features for the M171 performance. I don't remember that. It's been a long time since I've done that, that one. But for the M172 performance and optimize, you can do it. If you don't want to use the software, the software of the HVAC, uh, you can always use the FileZilla, for example. You just need a FTP client. And but if you're using that, you will need to use the, um, the credentials, the user and password you have for the controller. If you use the software tool inside the Machine Expert HVAC, there is no need for that. So, what we need is to go to the first be in the commissioning, then select the controller on the commissioning. Windows in other operations, so we need to scroll down, okay, in the options, and then we should be able to see this file browser. This file browser will try to make a direct connection to the controller that we are connected with. So, once we are connected, we should be able to see this window for the FTP connection. And if I'm not wrong, there is no need to connect before to the controller, so we just need to go here and connect. It will take the configuration of the communication that we have already set. So let's open the an application that we had done for the previous video. So we just need to go to commissioning. Yeah, don't save it. Here we just need to specify how we're going to connect. So um, right now I'm not using a USB cable. I don't think I have one here right now. So let's do the uh, Ethernet. So activate one nine two one six eight dot one one seven two is gonna be the PLC. Okay, uh, let me just check here. I already pinged it before, but let's just double check. Yeah, I have a connection. So even if I ping the device, it doesn't mean that I should be able to use the FTP. Because if it's brand new, the FTP is disabled, and we also recommend to disable all the protocols that are not used in the controller. Okay, so it may be disabled. So if we go to Ethernet here, we should be able to see that the FTP, if it's 65535, it means that it's going to be disabled. Okay, if it's zero, it means that using default it is 21. So we can use 21 or not, but we can check it. And if you are not able to connect, it means that the TCP port is disabled also. Okay. So let's try to connect. I don't remember the status of this PLC, to be honest. So we are we know that we are able to ping the device. I know that we are in the same network. So let's try to connect. Okay, I have the connection. Okay. Have the connection. Let me just uh, change the size of this so you can see. Uh, you can see that I'm lying to you. Okay, you can see um, here in the bottom that I'm connected. 
mobile device. It's different application. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to read these things for the internet part. You can see I have the FTP in 21, the Ethernet the file 2. It means that I should be able to uh, send the program and connect and send the program. Otherwise, if this is disabled, then you need to use the, the USB cable. So on the first attempt, if you have the USB cable, let's try to use the USB cable to, to connect and make the modifications. So I have already done this bit over here. So what we can do now um, is to check the port the FTP so I'm going to disconnect you can see they are no longer connected uh, it's here or here is no longer connected so um, now what we can do if you touch over here we're already commissioning we have selected the controller so now what we can do is to go here open file browser so as soon as you open this you should be able to see Ah, I see the other window. Okay, there is a pop-up message. The this pop-up message over here, which is one in this case is my connection, my internet connection. Um, that uh, you see the windows. It's in the other side, the other part of the window. But if you go to the Windows task to the bottom right, which is normally this next to the Windows date and time you should be able to see two folders in yellow which is this icon over here if you open it you should be able to see this window so here it says the settings that you have the connection is already established which is the one i have already configured and then we just need to activate and so on and if you want to close this connection because for if you reopen this you say you already tried to you have already another connection blah blah blah, blah. just need to delete this connection Okay, close it. So uh, there are uh, the real stock and uh, we should it. No. Okay, so minimize this. So let's continue with the PLC side. Um, this. Okay, as you can see they're using like the internal internet, but I access into the PLC. So N O R, and here you can see all the the files that we can have on the controller if we have saved logs files um different files probably on the sd card we can should be able to retrieve from there i didn't test with the sd card to be honest mm, that's something i need to try later i don't remember right now if the sd card will show up over there but we can try it later when i make the video for the data login so we can see a way to retrieve it noted so this is how we can access to the internal memory of the controller. So if we need to make changes or something, retrieve program that retrieve the binary files of the program. Or we need to make a change or something here, we have access. Okay, which is good. And I got the feeling that the SD card should show up over there. Um just hold on. I have an SD card over here, to be honest. A micro SD card. I really don't know if it works or not, so let's keep a quick try. So just bear with me a second. Okay, have have connected the SD card to the unit. So let's close this show window. I'm going to shut down this. I'm going to check the SD card uh, command. And mount the SD card. Now let's just mount it. Need to connect. Send the command. Mount it. The command. Wait, comma complete. Okay. So now open file browser. Let's see if it shows up over there. Yes, and it shows here. So this is what I wanted to show. I didn't remember, I need to test it. So 
this will allow you to access also to the uh, SD card that you have connected. So the SD card is going to be this one. And I really don't know what I have in this, but we got something. I will probably do in something for Video Designer. Yes, with Video Designer. So it doesn't need to be related to this. It's something I have in the SD card. It doesn't matter. The thing is that you can access using FTP. If you have an SD card to retrieve the files of the logins, you can have it. You have the access. So that is something I want to show you. Then this is the connection already show you this part. You can shut it down. Uh, yes. This is what I meant. If you are looking in the Windows tab, you should be able to see this icon over there. Right click and you should be able to see show window and then the continue shows up so let's try to do this uh, for the connection okay using another other software close window i just closing the ftp anyway so file sila let me just open file sila on my side just bear with me Okay, pulse one seven two one seven two administrator. I don't remember the password, so password and this one's going to be a 21. Reconnect. Uh, okay, ah, there we go. We should be able to see what is inside here. Um, Yeah, it gets access directly to the NOR of the of the car, so you can see here what I have. And if you want, you can drag and drop to the other side. Um, remember, CEO. Now you create. No, it doesn't show up over there. <laughs> Something that we need to investigate a little bit more, but you can access to the using ftp to the controller we will need to do more when we reach the part of the data login but this is what i want to show you so if i do, do, do go now to here this is possible because we have the ftp enabled but what happens if we disable it so i'm going to connect with the controller now I'm going to go to Ethernet and here I'm going to set 65535. So I'm going to disable it. Okay. And now if I'm wrong, I'm not 100% sure if I need to uh, power cycle it. But let's try to connect again. Uh, 21. Okay. It's successfully connect. So we need to power cycle the unit. So let me just let me just to show you an online to you. Um, CMD ping one seven one seven two minus T. So we have that. I'm going to power cycle the unit. Okay. Just waiting for the timeout. Okay, good. Then it's just wait for 42 power up. What's up? Yeah, almost there. So as you can see, we are able to ping the device, okay? But it doesn't mean that I should be able to use the FTP, okay? Because it's disabled. So let's just wait for it to, to connect. Just 
I mean, I believe it takes 30, 40 seconds, more or less. There we go. It's back alive again. So let's stop this. So you saw that I have the connection. Now, if I use Fizilla, I shouldn't be able to use the FTP. So 192.168.1. 68.1.172 admin administrator and password is the default and port 21 but we know the port has changed okay and why if it's disabled <laughs> did I save it so done You know what? I know what happened. <laughs> I disabled this one, which is for the Ethernet connection. So um, I disabled the Ethernet connection. The one I should have deleted is this one. I made a mistake there. So um, let's try to connect and see what happened. I'm able to connect and then the okay that it will ask me to go to the credential and change it so let's go so here username admin administrator password administrator is LTA yes so uh it to enter internet by all two that's it's important to we want you going to change here this one is by all two and here we're going to disable this one the FTP finally my three five okay that is change index ethernet so now i believe i need to power cycle the unit let's see if i can connect i don't think so no okay so what are you going to do is to power cycle and stop the video okay so now i have the connection once again i have already modified the the internet port this one is disabled so let's connect and read so um i'm going to read all these three together now i have the connection to the control via internet which is fine this is what i wanted to do and the ftp is disabled so let's close the file system so i can show you that it doesn't work oh it should be at the first time so 192.168.1.172 uh, pass or no administrator password 21 we know that no connecting and do, 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 do. you can see there is no quick connection as before because we don't have it probably we had a timeout or something let's see yeah nothing happened timeout we don't have the possibility because the ftp is disabled as i mentioned before so let's try now using the software so open file browser and this allow me ok 
because I directly connected over here. Okay, so if we want to use the FTP connection for the um, for all the software, it will not work. Uh, let me check something because we got this message. We didn't use it. The cable, but it's going to be the same. We use via Ethernet. It's fine. Uh, does it work? Okay, so when I to open the fire browser, it was working. Now I got this message. This means that you already have a few FTP gateways already open, so you need to go to the file uh, tax manager and probably delete them directly from there if you're not able to see that. So from the bottom window FTP and close it, use the task manager to end the task. So right click and select this one to end the task. We need to connect with the PLC because it's showing this message. Open the settings to check the city communication selected, FTP enabled and the TC port file too. Okay, in case you are not able to connect with the PLC. Uh, but I show you that even if I disable using the tool, it works. Okay. It's disabled, but it's disabled for the, the other ones, not for the uh, here. Let me just delete this part. Close the server. Now uh, open the real server. You can see I have access. To it, even if it's disabled okay so okay it's important to block the access to any other external tool okay if you are not using it, the FTP it's important to block the thing that you don't want to use and pay attention to the thing that you're going to disable otherwise you will get the same result as mine that I delete this one I disabled this one when I wanted to do this one the FTP so make sure of that okay um yeah so let's see for the cable it's going to be the same um so just need to make sure if you see the cable and select the communication that you want to use so this is how we can use the ftp so uh, it's a great tool if you want to exchange data using the software okay you can use the installer also to to access the data so it's going to be much easier probably to get the data and make a backup or read the files that you have on the sd card so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one